Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, this is Dom Designs here. In today's video, I'll show you how to take a sketch I created of Captain America and convert it into a clean, flat vector graphic in Adobe Illustrator. As always, if you're new to the channel and you're interested in weekly Adobe Illustrator tutorials and process videos, then please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you never miss an upload. So let's dive into this drawing. As always, I like to take my sketch and make a template out of it by dimming down the opacity by 50% and locking my original layer. We will begin by creating the outline of our character. So let's create a new layer and name it Outline. Since this is a symmetrical drawing, we will start by drawing the left side of our face only and later on we will reflect it. I'll be using a black stroke at an 8 points thickness. Don't forget to round off the caps and edges. Using the pen tool, which is P on your keyboard, I'll be starting from the center point of the head and then mapping out the main shapes. Let's use straight lines only as to have the least amount of anchor points. Next, we will want to round off the jaw and part of his skull. Let's reach for the curvature tool and bring out these lines like so. Finally, using the selection tool, we will bring down our points to round off the head and the jaw. As you can see, we have excess lines that we would want to delete. So let's select them all and go to our shape builder tool. We then carefully select the overlapping stroke by holding down Option on our keyboard. This will delete the unwanted line. Now let's move on to the ear following the same steps. Great, now comes one of my favorite tools, the Width tool. We will want to taper in the ends of these strokes. Let's select the Width tool and click and drag the end of your strokes to make them thinner. This will give it a professional and cool effect. Awesome! Let's continue the remainder of the face using these exact steps. For this part, I'll be using the Shape Builder tool. By holding down Option on your keyboard and clicking on the excess shape, you will be able to delete it. Next, I'll draw the nose, mouth, mask, and his eyes. Alright, now we're ready to reflect the left side to the right. But before we do, we need to make sure that our main head shape is a closed shape. So let's select the lines that contour his head and head over to the Shape Builder tool. With the Shape Builder, let's click on the gray area to create the shape. Now that we have that, we can select all and head over to the Reflect tool. Going to the center, hold down Option on your keyboard and click. Here you will see why we needed to close the head shape earlier. 
Let's select the two sides touching. Going to our Pathfinder tool, we will click on Merge. Now let's do the same for the chin. Let's finish this off by drawing the logo on his forehead. We are finally done outlining the head. Now let's move on to the coloring part. As always, I like separating my colors from the outline when working. So create a new layer and name it color. So what we will do is start by coloring Captain America's skin. Let's select a beige tone from the Dom Designs color palette. Now using the pen tool, let's block out our main colors. By the way, if you're interested in purchasing this color palette, head over to my Etsy shop link below in the description. Next, let's color in his eye area, followed by the blue mask. Great, now that we have our base color in, let's move forward to adding shadows and highlights. For this part, I'd like to create a layer in between the outline and color layers. Name this layer Shadows and Highlights. We will head over to the blue mask and select a dark blue shade as our shadow. Since the light source comes from the left side, we will make the right side of the face darker. Once completed, we can play with the opacity until we have something we like. We will do the same for the skin and the logo on the mask. For the highlight, we will select the head shape. Then going to our edit panel, do a copy and paste in place twice. Next, we select the top layer and move it to the right slightly creating a gap. We will then select the two top layers, go to our shape builder tool, holding option down we delete the shapes that we don't want. This will create a shape for our highlight which we will then fill in as a white. Then bring down the opacity so it's less prominent. Using this method. I'll continue adding highlights to the face.
Finally, I'll add some deeper shadows. And there you have it. These are the steps to drawing Captain America's face using my methods. Now for the purpose of this video not being too long, I'll speed up the remainder of the illustration and I'll see you at the end of the video.